Hi everyone. Camera just caught in here. Sorry. Okay. Right. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for, for videos every Wednesday, Friday, sometimes, and all on Sunday. Today. Big job on today, guys. Big job on today. <laughs> To be honest, I want to get done today if I can because I'm not doing it tomorrow, Sunday, and I'm not doing this tomorrow. Not a chance. So anyway, we're loading with the 6350 um, and we're spreading the dung. Wait, now, I will admit it's a big overkill. It is a bit of an overkill, I will admit. But um, normally I might put the 900 or the 63 on the spreader, but 63 is obviously loading it and the 900. The 900 actually the joystick for the loader broke on me two days ago so i can't we'll say i can go up and down but i can't tip the bucket in or out i can't bring it in or tip it out so the cable snapped so uh let's put you up here guys now um i have to try and fix that as soon as i can uh, there's no major i wouldn't say there's any major panic with it like but um yeah the a4 is a bit of an overkill for the spreader i will admit this spreader was only designed, I'd say, for a Ford 6610, I'd say, something like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Ah, looks all I have available at the moment, and I'm not going to put the, the T-Series on it anyway, it's going to be a major overkill. So, the A4 is working just fine. Yeah, um, the feed-out spread that you've seen in the first part of the video, I have a light coated snow out in that, so I'm just giving it dung now. Basically, normally, I have the dung put out by now. But the way the year went, just didn't sort of put it out and you know grass grow was bad at the start of the year, start of the summer. Didn't want to be hitting it with dung. I don't think I'd say want to help to put it, I don't think it would have so I just don't want to be hitting it with dung that time of the year. And I said this is the perfect time out to try and get it out because and this feed I always find the dung is fantastic, like like it is organic matter but one. It is and I I was fine, it helps the feed so much. Like, you'll know the difference later on in the next year or two after, it always helps it on. It's brilliant stuff like that and don't spread nothing. My old spreader now wouldn't be the best, I can't, I won't say that, I won't lie. Um, I have to do a bit of a job over the winter now, I'd have to weld on a few bits on it and on the road or to fit the, the boat. It's all chain driven along it, so side spreaders, they work on chains, there's chains built to get out. Chain twist on a big rotor. The chains were on with the plates on there's like square plates on the chains and they grab all the dung and they fling it out the side of it. And there's on the, the boat there's still four chains missing. I can't put them on because the brackets are broken off over time like and it is like that has to be kind of sorted out so I might what I might do now whenever I get time is very which is probably never but i will do this because it has to be done is cut off the old brackets and weld on new ones and to take new more chains then the whole rotor had chains you know she would spread it that bit better but she spreads it good but there's just four missing and it's not much but it's four it's four and kind of four vital positions on the ends there's one on the end and there's one just three in the middle and you know it just makes a difference to it you wouldn't think what it does. Uh, one load's getting me to the very end of the field, so.
No, it does spread it fairly even, I have to admit, like, for the, for, for the age and for the state of it, the machine. <laughs> um, no, it does spread it fairly well, like, it just... I have enough, I should have enough to cover the whole field, and I'm not going, like, mad on, it's just a light coat of it, like, you know? I thought it'll rot into the ground, and it chops up fairly well, so there's not massive lumps everywhere. But some spreaders... I think, no, I, I could be wrong, but... Sometimes them rear di discharge ones. I heard some people on about them that they they get straw and them and things. They lump it up, so they could they should lump on the back, which is fine. But you no know, lump of straw and the field there, like when it had the more silage, you just see it's a nightmare, like. So no, it shows a fairly good job, but no, I have to admit, because like I said, I like cut on because it's got slurry as well. And I probably wouldn't just give it only dung because I know drive there's driving power but a bit of slurry is nice too because there's no there's that, that's all I need waste silage and waste straw mostly straw and waste hay and whatever else so um, that's why you want to give it slurry too. No it works well, it works well, it's going well, thank god. I hope it stays going now. Every year they'd be hacking your mouth and you'd be hoping for something break, something break, something break, but this you like I said I have to do a job with it. So let's crack on. So I have the concrete weight block on the back of it as well, just to give it a bit of stability. So yeah, we're getting there. We're nearly finished now. Not many nodes left. Like I said, it's tipped in here. Ignore all the effing water. Made a bit of rain. And dung as we know it is messy stuff. Um, bit of a mess around here. I'm loading it. Get the bucket now. But as people might say I'm rough loading it. But it's just like I said, the flap welded on, it's not that easy to get it in. Sometimes you gotta tip it in, bits fall out. Get the picture. So, we're nearly finished anyway, that's the main thing. Let's crack on.
this side of the field now we have three more loads on the opposite side of the field to do as well so we're getting there and Katie has joined us and she has bought it the is for the most uncomfortable tractor of them all haven't you? yeah, yeah. most uncomfortable tractor I wouldn't blame her yeah the is 4 is pretty uncomfortable for me from the driver um, what's the most comfortable? the, the T the, one, yeah. the big red one yeah yeah T's but that'd be a serious overkill on the spreader the spreader probably explode the spreader would probably explode if that went down to it to be honest um, thank god we're nearly finished now that banging is the chains it takes it clatters off the chains clatter off the door off the flat when it's nearly empty and obviously when it's full they can't really go around out too, too far so going well so guys we are all done i'm just over here to click the 6-3 again it's pretty destroyed in front of it and yeah tomorrow's sunday so i probably won't be able to get to wash it out until monday because Tomorrow's the Dingle races and the Dingle horse racing's on, so I want to go tomorrow. So it's all cleared out. Um, yeah, I know all this rubbish is here. It has to be sorted out this year for definite. There's a big farm cleanup done, honestly. Oh god, I don't know what to do with it really. Um, I suppose the, the timber, all the pallets can cut up for firewood. I'd be thinking anyway, and the rest, scrap man, I suppose. But at least the dung is gone because it was a mess and I'll probably wash out all this yard when it's when I clip all that rubbish, do you know? Because it's getting on my nerves. You know you look at something for so long, and then eventually you're like, you gotta go. One of those moments. But the dung is out, um the smoke spreader has to be washed out at some stage. Probably won't not, not all next week now I'm gonna be so busy because I still have silage to cut. Um, we've reseeding to do, so you'll see that for the first time I have a field to plough. I want the cow paddocks to plough at five acres. And I'll then ask the silage to do and ask the slurry to go out. So that washing the mugs for now is a job for a wet day. I think anyway. Oh, it's 10 to 7 now. Dad's milking, so thank God I'm finished. Oh, dung, oh, done. Long day at it. Um, so, guys, that's the dung. Um, thank God it's done. I'm happy, it's done, and I can move on to the next thing. That's on my list, my list seems to get... I get through my jobs and then the list gets, then my list gets longer and longer every day, but we'll get there eventually, eventually. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, bye.